Hey everybody, 27 here. We're playing some Kai'Sa in the bot lane. We're going for a pretty standard build, i.e. into Rage Blade, into Hurricane, and then we'll see where we need to go after that. Um, it's going to be a bit of a challenging match, but it should be a fun one. We're up against a Jinx, who is really strong right now in the bot lane, especially a Jinx-Leona combo. Um, we have Thresh for a little bit of disengage, but it's going to be an interesting match. I'm really, really nervous about our bot lane match, though. This cat has like 130,000 mastery points versus our 8,000 mastery point Nico. That has me worried. Uh, so does this Warwick, who has a bunch of... Uh, I guess a bunch of opportunities to gank us because we don't have the best disengage uh, in the mid lane. So, good luck, everybody. We're sitting around like silver three or some stupid stuff like that. Um, shouldn't be too hard to start climbing from here, especially as uh, we're getting a little bit later into the, the split or the season. Um, we're getting, you know, probably people closer to our ELO, if not actually a little bit lower. But it should be easier for us to start carrying games pretty soon. Kaisa is a great leash. Uh, she does so much damage. I'm going this way because I don't think they're going to cheese us. If they do, my apologies. Boom. Figured that. Not a whole lot of people cheesing uh, in that tri bush. In silver, maybe even gold. Once you get to plat, then you're going to start seeing that. Alright, we took some minion aggro there just for getting a little bit of poke on Leona, but we did knock down her bone plating. Okay, Thresh knows how to last hit. We're looking pretty good right now. Looking pretty good, hopefully. We're just going to try to get level 2 before they do, uh, so we have a little bit more damage and a little bit more incentive uh, for us to, to hit them. Uh, Leona's level 2 is really, really strong, so hitting level 2 before they do is really important. Didn't look like we did it. Son of a gun. Going to get that bush warded. Uh, you always want to have that bush warded. Oh, Thresh, you got the hooks. You got the hooks, bro. Nope, he doesn't have the hooks. That's okay. Boop. Missed that minion. That's all right. W second, obviously. So we're doing a Q max, then E, and then W. It's pretty standard on Kai'Sa. We are last hitting like a buffoon right now. They're going to push us pretty hard. That's all right. Boop. Can Thresh grab that? No, he cannot. Son of a gun. Missing out on all these minions. Okay. Okay, Mr. Thresh. Okay, I see what you're doing. Ice. And boop. We started Dorian Shield because I thought we'd be getting poked a lot more by them. Hasn't happened yet, but we'll see what happens next. Oh my gosh. Alright. Alright, now we've got our E. We should be able to rock and roll here. If we are able to get some CC, we're going to chunk them out for probably half health. Darius getting first blood in the top lane on Jace. <laughs> Leona engaging. Alright, popping our E. Thresh shielded us. That's always a great move. Oh, buddy. If only I didn't just use that on a minion. You want to scrap? You want to scrap, Jinx? They did just bust out heal, so we should be good. Gonna pop a potion just to heal up a little bit. Give us a little bit more sustain in lane. Uh, also give Warwick a little bit less incentive to gank us. Great play. Great play by Thresh. Boop. We're gonna shove this in. Hopefully we can get it under tower. Oh nice. Just getting as much poke and harass on Jinx as possible. The faster we get her out of lane, the more we are able to scale and hopefully beat her to some items. Because right now she's in a really strong spot with the crit item rework. Nice Thresh. Should be another kill. Nice. We are rocking and rolling in the bot lane here. This Thresh is doing some work. He's landing these hooks. He's doing everything we want to support to do, which is really rare in this ELO, so we're enjoying it. Again, we're going to try to shove this there. Yes, you are Oom. Um, that is A-OK. -okay. I don't even care about getting these minions. Yes, I want to try to get them, but I would find it more important to shove this under tower. 
Really, Jinx? You want to do that? You don't have any heal. I don't have any mana. So, we're going to back. We have enough for our BF sword and boots. Want to go boots? Yes, we have... Attack speed's going to help us out, but um, boots are going to help us out a little bit more. Ooh. Oh, Leona is back. Son of a gun should have backed. Because they were going to shove this in. Okay. We're going to ward this bush, so whenever we come back, hopefully we're not going to be getting shoved in as much. Oh my gosh, I've got a last hit under tower. I should have backed. That's my mistake. <laughs> nice. We don't know where they're at, so they might be doing an early dragon with Warwick. It's always a possibility. We're just going to get this shove in. Jinx probably had to back, though. She had 39 CS, so she's in a spot where she might have that BF sword as well. Okay. In this last one. Perfect. Okay. We're at 50 CS, so we're up 11 CS. One kill and one assist. I'm gonna let them know I have to back. So far, Nico's really far up, too. It's gonna be a lot harder now that Cat is six, but... Hopefully Nico is able to poke her out pretty well uh, going forward. Uh, Thresh got a vision ward, so we good there. Good there. <laughs> Excuse me, can't talk today. They are scrapping. Holy cow, this Thresh making plays in the mid lane with the hook and the flay combo. He has got this down. Good job, everyone. Jace is struggling. He's out farming Darius a lot, so he should be able to play pretty safely as long as he's able to maintain vision. And something in this ELO that a lot of folks do not do it's effectively use vision. Yes, he has the ward, and that's great, but people forget to check the ward. So make sure if you do toss a ward down, you're not just you know tossing it down. You are using it to your advantage because that's the whole goal of vision is so you have extra information that the enemy does not have, and you can make your plays based on that. He sees Warwick coming. Simple. You just rotate down. Okay, there we go. All right, missed another one, that's okay. So we see Warwick and Leona coming down this way. I don't think they're gonna be going for drag. They should not, because that'd be a really terrible play, but Warwick is six, so we just have to watch out for a gank here. I'm not gonna even go up to this tri-bush because that seems like it's bad news bears. I am gonna go, actually, I'm gonna go there now. I'm gonna shoot my W right here. So we have vision. I can't do anything about that though. There's three of them. Leona, yeah, she's only level four. She doesn't have her ult, but I can't. I'm not really in a good position to to stop that. Warwick was low, but Jinx was full health. Leona has that combo, the EQ combo. I don't want to mess with that. Ooh, CSing is pretty rough. Again, we're not gonna we're not gonna shove too hard because we know that they were probably right over here. But boom, just some free poke damage. Kaisa is in a really good place right now. She just feels really good to play. We're just going to keep shoving. We're over head to back, so I know we're in a pretty safe spot. Whew. Damn it, Thresh. Son of a bitch. There we go. Not Flaming Thresh. I'm just finding it funny that he missed one. He's been playing pretty perfectly this whole damn game. Ooh, we did mess up. We should not have ulted back. Thresh had that. That's okay. Jace is struggling. Apparently, he's got some mouse problems, but what are you going to do? What are you going to do? All right, we're in a spot here. Do we get the Greaves? It's going to give us a ton of attack speed. I think that's the best option. Could have got another pickaxe, but I don't think that's the right play here. We're going to get one more potion here because Jace is going to start... You know, opening up a lot more uh, damage with her Q, especially as she gets more damage. So a lot more opportunities to poke us from a long range. I'm gonna hit E just to kind of get us to base, or excuse me, back to lane a little bit faster. Um, it's got a low mana cost. The cooldown doesn't really impact us too much. And pretty soon, um, we're gonna start doing pretty well as a team. Every lane is ahead except for Jace, which I am all right with. Perfect, man, this Thresh setting us up for success. I'm not going to push up. I don't have uh, a ward right here to put in this bush here. I'm not going to push this lane. Um, I don't have an ability to see where Leon is at. She's about to hit six very shortly. Sorry, I'm missing CS as I'm talking here. So we're just going to kind of play it safe while Thresh is back and getting some items. 
Okay, now we're gonna push it just because we're able to get these minions and now we're gonna wander uh, kind of this way. I'm gonna check for vision in this bush, see if anything's here, no vision ward. Uh, so we're gonna see what our main man Trundle is up to. Scuttle crab coming up here. Wow, three man top lane. Holy moly. We don't have ult, so we're just gonna chill right here. If Thresh is able to hook, I'm gonna let him know. If Thresh is able to hook, uh, I'm able to ult right in starting now. Okay, perfect. Looks like Trundle's ready to scrap here too. We wanna go for a dive on this Jinx apparently. Again, we're just melting these minions as much as possible so we get a minion wave under a tower. Boop. I don't care that Trundle got that kill. That's okay, we did a ton of damage. We're good to go. Just gonna keep hitting this, hitting this, be careful. Gonna let them know that we have one minion left, so we should back out. However, we're good to keep shoving this. Uh, we just don't have eyes on Katarina right now. Ooh, Trundle, you taking the kill and the cannon minion. Not sure how I feel about that. Ooh, Thresh did not predict the, the movement right there. Okay. Deal. Not really sure what the plan was there for them. Ooh. Jinx ult came in, saved the day. My main man Trundle getting pretty greedy with these plays. What is this guy doing? He's trying to take all the CS. What you doing, bro? Gonna go right here. We're gonna see if she walks up. That'd be a really terrible play, but you never know. She should W this bush and just get vision. Which is why I'm kind of staying down a little bit lower. Why are you doing this, bro? Oh no! I didn't have mana for ult. I'm a pleb. Man, that was a bad idea. Well, okay, it's a great idea. Poorly executed. Oh man, the plan was to see, uh, just continuously AA Jinx right here. And then I ult. Right over here is Leona. Uh, right over here is Leona puts her EQ for the combo right here. That way we avoid the CC, we kill Jinx, we have a nice speed bonus, and we run away. I executed that like a buffoon. That was a really poor play, so my apologies. <sighs> well, at least we have ult now, so it should be an easy double kill very shortly. Woo, that was a rough one. Again, popping that E to get the back to lane just a little bit faster. Jace is having a rough time in the top lane. Darius with the Mobies. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and shoot our Q this way. Oh, I was looking for a play there. Ooh, we dodged Warwick's play. We got the kill. Now we're gonna look for more because we still have ult. Nope, we're gonna go ahead and, and race down for a uh, tower, get that last plate and a little bit of extra gold for the whole team. Hopefully that helps Jace get back a little bit. I know he's having mouse issues, but just a little bit more gold can help him get back in the game. He just needs to poke Darius and pay attention to his wards. I'm not really sure how he's dying so much to Darius. He's gotta be in ranged form, bro. Boop! Not wanting anything to do with that. Okay, we're golden again. We did, we, we made the play that we wanted to make earlier, and that was avoiding Leona's uh, EQ combo, and it allowed us to reposition. We took a Darius Q to the face. Didn't really matter though. Didn't have any stacks on us. And here we go, we get this tower. Cat's pushing mid, but we should be able to get the tier two here. Ah, just missed the poke on Jinx. We're gonna have even better wave clear as soon as we get, uh, whoop. Nice play by Jace. There's our tier two tower and we are outie. Gonna leave Trundle to die. There's no use in us also dying. 
No, man. We are just gonna bounce. We got Thresh down here. We have Nico. Nico could actually stick around and we'd be in an okay spot. Don't know if there's a ward here. Son of a bitch. We don't have ult to get to her. We are Ooh, Thresh with the damage. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's an easy kill. Easy kill. Now we're coming after Leona. Where you going, dude? Where you going? We got E with the speed up in just a second. Boop. Not a problem. Nico could use that kill as well. We're six and two. We be running. Jinx is back. I'm gonna let my team know I've got 2,700 gold. I'm actually gonna get Scuttle Crab because Trundle is going top. So this is just free gold for us at this point. If I can actually click it, there we go. Oh my gosh, I cannot click it right now. So Bot Wave is pushing. Ooh, can we get Jinx? What? Wow, I can't believe that missed. Okay. I'm going to get this pretty big wave down bot lane. We did not want to use any summoners to catch that Leona earlier. That would have been a poor use of summoners. She's 06, yeah, 07 in 6, but um, it just wouldn't have been worth it. We have a, a Warwick that we'd rather save Flash for as ult if possible. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but that's what I'd rather save it for. Um, also heal uh, in case we need to get a little bit more movement speed in a fight or heal up our team. That's going to be available to us too. So I'm just shoving this out before I back. You know, use Q to clear the wave, and now we're good to back. So up next, we're going for the Rage Blade, which we get in a one-stop shop. We're hitting up the Walmart, getting Gwinsu's Rage Blade in one buy. We're also going to upgrade our trinket to blue. Very vital that you do this as an ADC, get more vision around the map. Um, and then we're also going to pick up a control ward. Should have done this earlier, should have evolved my Q before buying. It's all those things that those precious seconds add up in game. Okay, so we see our team is scrapping under tower in the mid lane. Probably not the best fight. I see top lane is almost down. I don't see any sign of Darius. I'm going to try to go top really quickly, see if I'm able to take down that tower and then head to drag with my team. They should be able to get mid tower off of that. Ooh, Darius is there. So now that I know that three are dead, Darius is there. All that's available is cat. I'm not scared of a level nine cat at the moment. She's mid too, so we're good to just take top tower. Oh, we just missed the cannon minion. Oh my gosh, we're missing everything. Okay. Every time you do auto attack, you'll see that this goes down by half a second. The cooldown on your E. Okay. <laughs> Not even close, bro. Not even close. All right. Let's gonna put this here. I'm gonna check on their red. I don't think it's there. Nope. Okay. I'm gonna put this here for some vision. Deep vision in the jungle is key no matter what ELO you're in. Um, it's going to be beneficial. If you're in high ELO, it's just standard. If you're in lower ELO, it's going to make your game so much better because it's going to give you more information um, about your opponent. We see they're getting drag. I'm not too worried about that, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to head right to mid tower, take that, and then rotate down. The reason I'm doing that is because taking mid tower, especially tier one, opens the map up so much. Warwick using the Rift Herald for God knows what reason. I'm all right with that, but I'm not going to chase the Leona. I'm actually going to try to save our tower because there's a rather large wave. Boop. I'm not going to save the tower. I'm just going to take down Rift so we don't have to worry about it. I see Darius here. It's probably coming up here. Boop. My team's got it. Okay. <laughs> yes, you are on TV. Congratulations. Up next, we're going to be getting our Hurricane, uh, which will allow us to hopefully, yeah, it'll allow us to evolve our E, which is very, very vital in fights. It's going to allow us to go invisible for about half a second. Uh, so it's a good disengage tool. Also a good mind game opportunity. We know that they're all up. I'm just trying to push this under tower if possible.
I thought Cap was going to jump on us. I'm just going to shove that up there, do a little bit of damage. Wow, chunking out the Jinx. What was she trying to do? I should have baited. I didn't even know. Boom, baited. Okay, there we go. <laughs> if one didn't bite, the other one did. We saw them here. I know this is a no-no, but I did want to clear that. I am not going to go that way. At least not yet. Okay, now I feel comfortable doing so. Ooh, good one, good one. Okay, Leona. What are you doing, dude? What was that fight? Why were... Why are they doing this? This is the low ELO ex extra great plays they're making, but... We do have a ton of gold, so we're looking for a good opportunity to back. They're pushing bottom. I'm going to try to get this tier 2 mid tower, if I can path there properly. We're saving our E for that in case we need it. Alright, taking all that. And we're backing because we have no mana. 3% mana. Should be enough for our hurricane. Yeah, it is. Why do you even have to open? Why don't you just forfeit? It's 21 minutes in. Weird. Hmm. This was open at about 8 minutes, except for uh, Jace. It's always a bummer when there's an AFK and it helps you win, but that's all right. I'll take whatever break I can get. There's been a lot of trolls this season, a lot of interesting, interesting teams to say the least. This Warwick is having a bad time with the Souls out. I've seen them land one out of, I think, three. That's a bad time. We're gonna come here because we're able to easily, easily destroy this team. Oh, there we go. Good one. Warwick is a strong fellow, but doesn't matter because we are able to pick up that quadro like nothing at all. Easy peasy. Again, we're just getting the attack speed. So we can nuke down this tower. There we go, they surrendered. How about that? GG's to the enemy team. That was a great gameplay. Next item probably would have been a GA, but we don't even need it because, again, we just won that one. So, GG, well played. If you are watching on Twitch, make sure you follow, make sure you subscribe if possible. If you're on YouTube, give us a video a thumbs up. If you enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching.